Our next tool over here is the Smart Brush tool. And there are lots of options in this. I'm going to pull the window down here a little bit so you can see that. There we go. So here's the options. We have some basic presets. We have all purpose. We have artistic, black and white effects, color effects. This you can use this to change colors, lighting effects. If you hover over for a second, you can see what that is. You know, brighten image, spotlight, decrease contrast, some nature effects. Add contrast to cloudy skies, make dull skies blue, photographic effects, portraits, and reverse special effects, textures, tint, where you can look at everything. So there's lots and lots and lots of these presets in here. It's a great thing to go ahead and play around with and try. So we have our presets, and I have mine set on the default here on the blue sky, makes a dull sky more blue. And this kind of problem we have up here. We have two brushes, the Smart Brush Tool and the Detail Brush Tool. The Smart Brush Tool works kind of like the Quick Select Tool, where you paint into an area and then it tries to find everything that matches what you're painting into and then makes your adjustment. Let's just see how this works. Of course, we can adjust our brush size right over here. I have a straight brush. I can add to a selection or remove from a selection. So I can add or subtract. And I can invert this once I have it on there but we're just doing the sky. So I'm just going to take my smart brush, I'll paint into the sky a little bit like that, and there we go. It finds the edges, and in this case it increases the contrast and darkens down a little bit, giving me this nice sky effect, much nicer than I had before. So real easy to use, as you can see. I'm just going to back up a touch here, just under that smart brush, and I'll show you the detail brush. Now the detail brush works just like a regular brush. It actually, it does the smart brush effect, but it only does it where you're brushing. So the big brush over here, this does a quick select and tries to match anything that you're brushing into. The smart brush works just like a paintbrush, but does your effect, your smart effect here, using the paintbrush. So I'm going to think you should take some time to go through here and just play with all these things. There are some great tools, and as you saw, it's, it does some amazing stuff. Let's just back up a little bit here. I'll just use my keyboard shortcut to back out of that. Let's just do one more in here. Let's find a color change. To a paint image green color. And using my smart brush again, I'll just brush into the sky. There we go. Now it's actually I, I grabbed the wrong one there. I grabbed kind of a brown, dulling down brown. Not quite what I wanted. Let's just back up on that so I can get that onto that green. There we go. That's the one I want. Same thing. I'm just going to paint in here. And notice that it's also blending it in as well. It's not just filling it. It's blending it in, making it look more naturalistic. In this case, more of a green tone to that. Okay, let's just back out a bit. The same thing over here if I wanted to on this rock. Just paint in here. There we go. A little more green here because there's not, there's no green to begin with. So up here he had blue to work with, so it was blending it in. In here it doesn't need to. But again, you can see how easy this is. And if I just click deselect, which is just off screen there, there we go. That's how it looks. It, it, it does a real nice job of applying these different effects. Again, there you go. There's too much here to show in just this one video, but this is one of those tools I think you should take some time and play around with and see what it can do for you. It's a great way to do some very fast fixes and also some very fast enhancements and changes onto your images. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos 
on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.